Welcome back on air with Chris Shanafel, presented by NFL Draft Bible, bringing you the names that you need to know first since 2002. Visit NFLDraftBible.com, and what a day it is to be alive, you guys. Not only am I going to introduce you to a running back that you need to do some homework on, uh, you know, he is certainly a name I think that uh, should get some attention, and uh, you guys should be looking ahead to for the 2019 NFL Draft, but before we get there, we still have a full season to play um so we we got that and of course tonight we have nfl football the chicago bears taking on the baltimore ravens in a little over an hour in the hall of fame game taking place in canton ohio so it's finally here football is here to stay until super bowl 53 on february 3rd 2019 but without further ado let's bring in our guest tonight uh, a year ago he ran for a total of 1875 yards and led all the NCAA in total touchdowns with 32. He's already the all-time leading rusher in Eureka College football history with still a full season to go. He's Lee Anthony Reasonover. And, uh, Lee Anthony, uh, you have quite the resume. And, uh, again, we really appreciate you uh, carving some time out of your schedule to yes, chat sir. as you uh, get ready for the upcoming season. How's everything going? It's going well. Uh, off season's going great. I uh, feel like I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. Uh, just excited, very excited. Absolutely, as you should be. And um, really, the production you had a year ago, Lee Anthony, was really incredible. Um, to, to, to remind our listeners, I mean, uh, as I mentioned in the opening, you, you ran for nearly 1,900 yards and 31 touchdowns. You were second on the team in receiving, 18 receptions, 183 yards, and a touchdown. Um, but to go back and – to, to kind of see what you're able to do on the ground. I mean, week in and week out, teams game planning for for you guys, the uh, Eureka Red Devils, um, they knew that number 25 was going to be the main focus on the offense. And um, even knowing that, they were still they, – they, they, they weren't able to stop you. Those stats speak for itself. The, the tape and the highlights are, are another thing. Um, the success that you were able to have a year ago, of course, allowed you to be the uh, first player in Eureka history – to be named to the AFCA, American Football Coaches Association Division Three All-American team. And not only did you have a ton of individual success, Lee Anthony, but you helped lead your team to its very first NCAA playoff appearance. Um, a lot to digest there, but looking back, how would you assess uh, what you were able to do as a junior a, a year ago? Uh, my, t- my, my teammates just had a lot of trust in me. I knew uh, every guy on that roster had full faith in me, and I knew – that they were counting on me, so it was just knowing that and just going hard every day of practice, uh, knowing that those guys are going to do their job. So just gave me confidence to go out there and do the things that I know I can do. And you guys kick off this season on the road at Knox. Uh, we're less than a month away from that, September 1st. Really looking forward to that. But, um, you know, to focus more on your junior season, Lee Anthony, I mean, I, I want to bring you to late in the year last year, And I'm sure you already know the games I'm going to focus on. Week 8, Week 9, and Week 10. Um, Starting with that game at McMurray, you you run for 275 yards, three scores. You follow that up the next week with 350-plus yards. I believe it was 353, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 354. And five touchdowns uh, against St. Scholastica. And then after that, a week after that, Week 10, here you are against Martin Luther. You, you run for another 252 yards and seven touchdowns. I mean, that right there is 15 touchdowns uh, in, in three games. Um, I mean, that, it, it, that's damn near impossible to do, to, to put up those type of numbers. In, in a Madden video game, even when you have the difficulty on rookie, I'm sure you're a Madden <laughs> player, Lee Anthony, that, that's yeah. damn near impossible to do even under those circumstances. But here you are doing it in real life at, at the college level. I mean, Talk about those three games specifically. Uh, what did you eat for breakfast? What was what were you doing for pregame? I mean, what uh, what was going on uh, that, that allowed you to have that type of success that, again, you can't even do in Madden, and here you are doing it in real life? Uh, well, starting with that game at Mac Murray, I knew that it was going to be a tough one. Uh, Mac Murray is definitely a, a well-respected team in our conference, and I knew that uh, that game was going to come down to a rushing attack. They had a great running back, and I knew – me and him were going to be battling it out. So uh, our first play from scrimmage, I ended up – well, second play from scrimmage, I ended up uh, scoring a touchdown, and I knew that this was going to be a game where I had to bring my A game. And 
it just went – it really went from there. Uh, the second game of the season, uh, Scholastica, they're the powerhouse team in our conference, uh, well-respected. I knew that that was going to be another big game. So those stats were just coming off us just being determined as a unit and me just keeping my focus and really just going hard every play and making things happen. But and and I, those, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say uh, winning those two games uh, – Having to, knowing that that uh, last game of the season was going to be the conference championship, I knew that it was going to be we were going to have to have another spectacular performance, and that one really just topped it off. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, it really just an incredible stretch late in the season, and to, to make it even better, you, you guys were able to win all three games. So it's not like you're just having this, you know, individual success throughout the game, and then you're hanging your head down low after the game because you lost the game. You, you guys won all three of these games, and actually, um, you guys started off the season 0-2, and, and then you went on to rattle on, uh, let's see, eight straight to mm -hmm. finish the season 8-2 and two before taking on St. Thomas in that final game uh, of your junior season. Um, Talk about that slow start your team had 0 and 2, and how you guys were able to bounce back uh, eight eight straight victories after that a year ago. Uh, really, just after losing the first one, and then we kind of let that first loss take us into the second loss, and we just had to regroup as a unit and come together and find ourselves as a team. And once we started clicking, we just never fell apart. You, uh, you know, Lee Anthony, uh, Eureka, I mean, th there's been some tough seasons there looking back, uh, specifically 2014, which, uh, w were you there back in 2014? Uh, the year we were 2-8? and eight? Yeah. Or was, no, that, was that, that, that was one year before you. Yeah, that was the year before me. Right, well, you, you were there with a 5-5 a five and five season. That was my year. That was your first year, eight and two last year, or and then eight and two your uh, the year before that in 2016. I mean, uh, what's it kind of been like? You know, you've been the vocal point of the team's offense, no doubt about that. But what's it kind of been like to see, you know, this winning culture kind of uh, build up there at Eureka over the years? Uh, it's been great, just uh, seeing everyone buy in. The whole the whole student body's bought in. Everyone, all of our players are just bought in. It's just it's, it's it's great knowing that we we can turn things around and just just simple hard work and determination and guys buying into what our coach was trying to do. So it's just been great. Again, we're chatting with the Eureka College senior running back. Again, he's heading into his senior year. Lee Anthony Reason over and uh, Lee Anthony. You know, watching some of your your tape, watching some of your highlights. Uh, you know, I was watching your huddle page all day this morning, and. Uh, you know, the the first thing I have written down is relentless. You know, you're not – you don't shy away from contact. You're not afraid to initiate contact. Um, how would you describe your running style? Uh, very uh, – I would say I'm very patient, uh, aggressive. Um, I'm really just trying to take every yard, every yard, every play, trying to get the most yards I can get and just keep them turning. Now, again, watching some of your tape, Lee Anthony, don't, don't get me wrong, I love watching Division II football. I love watching Division III football. Uh, you guys, of course, are playing Division III. But how did you ultimately land at Eureka? Because, uh, honestly, your, your tape, and I'm not just trying to blow smoke up your ass just because we're chatting here, but your, your tape really does say that you should be playing maybe at a higher level, uh, maybe a, a Division I level, maybe a FCS level, maybe even a Division II level. How did you fall to the Division Three ranks, and uh, ultimately, how did you land at Eureka College? Uh, well, my high school coach Matt Fox, uh, he went to Eureka back in uh, back in his time, and uh, when during the whole little recruiting process, I didn't really get a lot of offers or really a lot of looks. So he was just he just like kind of pointed me in the direction of Eureka College. I have a teammate here now, uh, Tony Greenwood. He was part of that two and eight team. And he was, uh, me and him are real close, and I was really buying into what he was saying and buying into what Coach Barth was telling me. And uh, Eureka was just a perfect fit when they came down to it. And I came here and things just, you know, they kind of fell into place. No doubt about it. And, again, you guys kick off uh, the 2018 season, your senior season, uh, in less than a month, September 1st, at Knox. 
Um, again, they were able to get the victory last year to start the season. This year, obviously, you guys are looking for a, a different uh, a different a different ending to that game. I mean, uh, what's kind of the off season been like? What what's the preparation been like so far to open up the season against Knox? Uh, well, we know that Knox is uh, is going to be a good opponent. We can uh, take them lightly. Uh, we kind of did it last year, and that kind of smacked us in the mouth. So just knowing that we got to come out, we got to execute well and get the job done, and I think we'll be good after that. Well, 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 I mean, after you, you put up the type of numbers last year, you, you have the type of team success you had a year ago. Again, uh, the, the first team in uh, Eureka College football history to, to appear in the NCAA uh, Division Three playoffs. Um <laughs> Do you have any type of uh, any expectations or any any goals written down uh, that you'd like to achieve this year, Lee Anthony? Uh, I don't have personal goals. I have team goals, but uh, we're moving to a new conference, so we just want to establish our dominance again in another conference. Uh, we definitely want to win another conference championship, but go uh, farther and beyond. We've been to the uh, NCAA playoffs. We want to do that again, but go farther. We just got a lot of team goals, personal goals. I kind of let those come with, you know, the team success. But Well, after having the, the type of season you had last year, I mean, uh, yeah, like, like you said, I, I would just let whatever come, come, because uh, I, I can't think, and maybe you did, I don't know. I can't think anybody would imagine to have the type of season that you had a, a year ago. Again, you uh, led all the NCAA and uh, total touchdowns with 32. You had over 2,000 yards uh, uh, from scr- from the line of scrimmage. Um, talk about your leadership uh, qualities that you bring to the table, though, Lee Anthony. I mean, here you are now entering your senior season. I'm sure a lot of guys are looking up to you. Um, I know uh, just kind of preparing for this interview, you guys had a, a freshman uh, running back that actually led the team in receiving last year, But uh, and this is – full-on stat scouting. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a, a lot of Eureka College football um, a, a database to, to, to go back to, but I, I see that uh, I'll, I'll try to pronounce his name, number 34, Rhett Rodinelli. Yeah, um, you know, again, looks like he's a, a great a great receiver. Um, and, and, again, I, I haven't seen any of his tape, but he did have eight fumbles last year, lost six of those. Um, when a young guy is kind of struggling like that, at least in that, that point of view, when it comes to uh, losing the football, I mean, uh, what, what are some of the things you say, say to him to make sure, you know, he, he just forgets about that play and moves on to the next one? Well, I just always try to remind him when uh, we all make those type of mistakes, we take them off, we go to the next play, we focus on the next play. But uh, Rhett's a great athlete. He makes plays. He did week one. He did all season, really, so. When things happen like that, we kind of we don't really like pointing the finger. We just like lifting guys up, having them focus on the next play because once it happens, it happens. You got you got to really forget about it. Right, and and you know what? I I don't at all mean to down talk him. I mean this is a freshman running back. You know, first time playing the college game, and and here he is still. You know, look at the bright spots, leading the, the college football team in uh, receptions and as well as uh, receiving touchdowns. So in, in no way am I trying to kind of point him out. Uh, mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, Lee Anthony, talking a little bit more about your durability um, and bringing up those fumble number, uh, fumbling numbers, I mean, you, you carried the rock 318 times. You only had one fumble. Uh, I mm-hmm. think anybody would take that any day of the week. Um, you know, what, what do you kind of attribute that to? I mean, do you just have strong hands? Are you, uh, you know, is that a credit to your offensive lineman not, not really getting hit too much? I mean, what, what exactly – is your secret to that success of uh, being able to hold on to the football? Uh, just knowing, I, I mean, I, I take pride in holding on to the ball. I take pride in getting the ball. So dropping it, to me, is I really take pride in holding on to that, knowing that I really can't let my team down because I'm a big focal point. So I just, I don't know, I just, I, I, high and tight, that's my thing, high and tight, and just hold on to it. You know, Lee Anthony, I, I do some work for the NFL Draft Bible dot com. Um, again, not not every year, or, or every year, we do see guys from Division Three make it to the next level. Whether that's the NFL, whether that's CFL, they they make it professionally. Um, but we don't see a lot. Um, any chance any scouts have been through Eureka College and have uh, kind of been able to chat chat it up with you? 
uh, I mean, I had a, I had a few come through. I'm not really sure if I could talk on that or not. Right. Uh, or is that is that at least something you would like to pursue? I mean, is professional football something that interests you? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's definitely a goal of mine. But uh, being a senior leader on this team, I kind of don't look too far into the future. I kind of focus on day by day, getting my team right, making sure that I'm right, and really focusing on what I control at the moment. But it's definitely something I'm focusing on in the future. Hey, final question for you, and then we'll let you go, Anthony. Really appreciate you taking some time to chat been fantastic uh, talking with you and you mentioned that you're moving into a, a new uh, conference this season it's your senior year um, I gotta ask you though is there a, a specific game that you have marked on your calendar that you know I know you gotta look at all these opponents uh, you know pretty much the same and you don't want to overlook any of them but uh, is there a specific game on, on this year's schedule that you have marked that you're looking forward to playing more than any other game uh I'm uh I'm, every game, really, but being me, it being my senior year, every game being my last first game, my last second game, my last third game, I'm really just looking forward to every game on the schedule. Uh, going into the new conference, I really I'm excited for the first conference game uh, against Aurora. Uh, I'm excited to play Lakeland. I'm excited to play Benedictine. But every team on there, we can't overlook anyone. So really, just every game, I'm just excited. Hey, how, how are you looked at on campus, man? I, I got to know. I mean, uh, are you kind of like Mr. <laughs> Heisman Trophy winner over there at Eureka? <laughs> I mean, I got I, I get I get some love, but I mean, I try to I try to sprinkle the love everywhere. I kind of I don't act like I'm on my high horse. I kind of keep where I'm at. I feel like I'm the same guy since I walked through the door, and I'm trying to be the same guy when I leave. So, let, let me ask you this: how, how many babies are you asked to kiss every day? Are, are you kind of like the president <laughs> walking down the street, signing autographs, kissing babies, taking oh, selfies? Man. Come on, man, let let us in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess some of them. I, I I've signed some autographs. That's been a that's been an exciting thing for me. I really <laughs> never thought that I would I would have to do that, but I mean it's been nice. Hey, Eure- Eureka, Illinois, if I'm not mistaken, the hometown of former President Ronald Reagan. Uh-huh. Um and of course, uh now uh where uh Lee Anthony uh Reasonover is uh playing football, the fantastic running back. No joke. If you have the time, YouTube him, check his huddle page out. Um, you will not be disappointed, and seriously, I'm not just saying that, Lanthony. Really do appreciate you taking some time to chat. Really, um, you know, it, it was a lot of fun, kind of preparing for this interview, watching some of your tape, uh, seeing the damage that you've been able to put on your opponents over the years, and uh, looking forward to seeing much more of that uh, this upcoming season in your last uh, college football year. Thank you. Thank you very much.